All right, Jeff Zimmerman here with one of the best trainers in the world, Ronnie Shields. How you doing, Ronnie? Doing great, man. You're here in Dallas, man, right up the road from Houston. What brings you down? Well, my kid David Stevens is fighting an eight-round fight in the opener of the uh, Zone show. T talk about him. What, what kind of talent is he? He's a really, really good talent, man. He's a young kid, 22 years old, you know, about to be 23. But he, you know, he's from Reading, Pennsylvania. And strong kid, man. Got one of the best left hooks in boxing. And, you know, he's a piece of key. He's kind of sort of pressure fighter. But, you know, we're trying to just get him, trying to get him going now. You're building him, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. Which is what you do best, man. I, I got to ask you, down in Houston, the Charlo brothers down there, you're still working with Jamal? Yes. What, what's the latest with him? He hasn't been in the ring for a while, but uh, hopefully this summer? Oh, yeah, it's definitely going to be this summer. Definitely for sure. You know, matter of fact, he's coming to the fight on tomorrow night. Okay, okay. Yes. Any any idea who he might face? Not yet. You know, they're throwing some names out. But, you know, until we get something solid, then we'll be announcing soon. Now, he's been at 160 for a long time. Is that still his weight, in your opinion? or oh, should absolutely, he... absolutely. He has no problems making 160 pounds. You know, as long as he can do it, he'll stay there. But, you know, the most important thing now, getting him back in the ring and making sure, you know, he fights consistently. Right, right. Now, there was a big fight last weekend, a super fight. You know all about super fights just yeah. from your career and, and being around this business. What, what did you think of that fight? I mean, the fight, you know, it wasn't Hagler Hearns, which many had hoped, but it was certainly a big fight for boxing. Yes, it was a great fight for boxing. And, you know, boxing really needs those fights consistently, you know. Uh, but, you know, it was. I mean, both guys went in and did what they were supposed to do. But, you know, uh, Ryan just got caught with a shot that I think every fighter in the world, I think you got caught like that in the gym or in a real fight. And I know I suffered that kind of uh, injury before. You know, I've got hit like that in the gym before. And man, and it's that delayed reaction is crazy. Yeah, talk, talk about that because I think for the fans, you know, you see the headshots and it's like, oh my God, this guy's cut up, he's bleeding, you know, and so forth. But it's really the body that yes. is, is the killer. Yeah, the body is the killer, man. You know, when he, he got hit like in a perfect spot, you know, and, you know, here's the thing that happens. It's like your body, you can feel it, but it don't, it don't click in until like a second or two later. And that's when you see when it's when they click in, that's when you see Ryan start backing up. You know, and he knew it. I could the way he was drawing back, I said, Oh, he's hurt. You know. And then it really hit him. And it's like all the blood just all together just, you know, tightened up and you can't help but go down. Because it takes your breath away. Yeah, did you think he was gonna get up? I mean no. he he knew he was watching the count yeah. in front of him. Yes. I didn't think he could get up. You know, I mean, like I say, it happened to me in the gym, and it takes you, it takes you a minute to get up, you know. So I didn't, I didn't. When I saw him get hit and go back, but then I started seeing him start taking that knee. I said, "Oh, you know, his body, his body just gave up." Now Tank, you know, undefeated, you know, makes making his claim as the face of boxing, and it, it's really hard to argue putting on a, a show like that. Who, but who's the best in that that group out there, 130, 140? Because there's some there's some talent. Man, there's a lot of talent out there. It really is. It's, you don't know. It's hard to say who's the best until these guys fight and there's one left and one another. Well, what are your thoughts on uh, Shakur Stevenson? One of the best fighters ever to put on a pair of gloves. This kid, he really, really can fight. You know, and if anybody underestimates this kid, they're going to get beat. He, he almost, and I, I interviewed Sugar Ray Leonard recently, and I didn't get a chance to ask him, but, you know, obviously he was an Olympian, both, you know, right. Sugar Gold, uh, Shakur Silver. Right. But they, they, you know, they got that smile, kind of that million-dollar <laughs> looks. Yeah. But then they get in the ring. He seems like a general, generational talent. Yes, he is a generational talent. Absolutely. You know, this kid, he's going to be around a long time. Keep, as long as he keeps his life clean, this kid. And this kid, look, he's already back in the gym. You know, I, I got a good friend of mine that does his conditioning. And uh, he works with some of my fighters also, the conditioning guy. And he say, man, he's already back in the gym. So that's what you want to see out of these young fighters.
Yeah, and then you got Devin Haney and Loma. Yep, absolutely. Right. And, you know, look. But the good thing is we'll see who wins out of that fight. And then, you know, that whoever wins will add their name to the top of Shakur, Tank, you know, and whoever wins that fight, you know. We'll just have to wait and see. Yeah, and we'll wrap it up here. I'm with Ronnie Shields. I covered him when he was here with uh, Evander Holyfield yeah. uh, many years ago, uh, working with him. But uh, you, going back to Jamal real quick, um, you know, you, you saw the fight with Benavides um, and Plant. Right. And it seems like those are the guys that are always in the conversation for Jamal, <laughs> even though they're in different right. weight classes. Yes. But those seem to be the super fights. Could you see him just going up to 68? Oh, I can see him going up to 68, you know, within a year. Absolutely. But right now, at 68, my guy, David Morrell, he's going after David Benavides. That's who he wants next. Thank you for bringing him up, and um, I apologize for not mentioning him. I, I interviewed him yesterday, in fact, Ronnie, okay. and um, talked about his story from Cuba and did not yeah. realize he was 130 and two as an amateur. Yeah. So even though he only has nine pro fights, right. he, he has experience. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And let me tell you something, this kid, man, he's a natural talent. You know, everything's come to this kid natural. He's, he's, the, he's one of the best guys I've ever worked with. You know, and one of the nicest guys you're going to have to meet. You know, he, you know, he, he's just an all-around good guy. And, you know, he, he loves to fight. And that's the, that's the most important thing. I asked him where his power came from because a lot of Cubans, as we know, like the Rigandals and Laras, they're more slick, more, you know, and he's got power. And he, he basically said Absolutely. hard work. Absolutely. He didn't, he didn't say God given. It was, it's hard work. Absolutely. But, you know, and, you know, with the talent that he has, he works really hard. So that just makes it easier for him in a lot of these fights. So Now, he did call out the Mexican monster yesterday when I talked to him, but obviously Benavides has his sights on Canelo. Um, of course. Of course, which <laughs> anybody would. But David had, you know, David Morrell has his sights on Canelo also. You know, so he's, you know, he wants that fight. You know, and he deserves that fight. But, you know, Benavides also deserves that fight also. So... We just had to wait and see what happens. So maybe, maybe a semifinals between David and uh, <laughs> yeah, but still, it's David no and David. It's still no guarantee you go get Canelo, you know. Right, so, right. You know the boxing organizations. You know, I feel they're not doing their job. You know, they want the best to fight the best, but when you have the best picking and choosing, it, it'll never happen. Well, listen. Let, let's hope last week was the uh, you know genesis for these super fights i know you've been around a long time and been there was a hell of a fighter seen it all ronnie i appreciate the time always great seeing you thank you man thanks